But this is very important for me because as directional preference is very good to include, not very good to exclude. As modic change is very good to include, not very good to exclude. Mm -hmm. As both of them are not, uh, are, are not overlapping, that means that we have at least two categories that make us able to diagnose uh, discogenic pain. And I think if we combine no directional preference with no modic change on the MRI, I think the screening property of the combination of these two results are much higher, I think, than just uh, the one alone. I don't know if I'm very clear. Yeah. Yeah. So they could be considered like two different subgroups of discogenic pain. Clearly. Right. That's it. Yes. Okay. And then I know that you also mentioned a few other subgroups of mechanical discogenic pain, right? Oh, there is the, the mechanical discogenic pain. It's, it's the way we label uh, the, the patients that have a directional preference. It's the same name that uh, derangement in McKenzie, but it's more, we use this term mechanical discogenic pain to be more, you know, um, understandable for people that are not into the McKenzie world uh -huh. to make, you know, a physician or surgeon able to understand that we are talking about something which comes from the disc and that could be influenced by mechanics. So mechanical discogenic pain in the definition that we give into the paper, it's the patient with a directional preference. There is patient with modic change. Uh, that is another group of patients with, with discogenic pain. In France, they are calling them active discopathy. I don't know how they call it in outside of the France, but, but it's another group. And there is other patients that are, that do not have a direction preference, that patients that do not have modic change, but but have discogenic pain. And this is uh, the other group for now that need to be, uh, you know, uh, more, uh, that need to be better characterized. And it's uh, a work that, uh, that we are doing. And we, with Mark now, uh, that we will do, it's not start for now, but it will start very soon. 